Um, well, we're of the view that student accommodation is a very interesting class, it, but there is a very, there's three different types of student accommodation. There's the direct let to the students, then the, sometimes you have the universities being involved, so the different classes. And one positive about student accommodation is that under certain rules or leases, you actually get the student to pay their entire lease for the entire year in advance. So I don't know any other asset class where your tenant pays their whole rent in advance to you cash. So from a cash flow perspective, that's brilliant. Um, but there are other leases that you can put in place where the university are subsidizing doing anything. But you must remember, there's always going to be students. It really comes down to the quality of the university and where the building is situated in relation to the university. Because technically, you could argue that you're getting bond flow income technically forever if the building is quite well built. But it is quite a nickel and dime business. We work with a number of guys, such as like, can the student hang up their clothes? If you press a button on the wall, it turns off the lights. Those cost savings can literally add 15, 20% to your bottom line and you can make significant returns on it. Healthcare, either fortunately we're all getting older and we're all going to live longer, so our parents will be the same. They all have to stay somewhere, they can't stay with us. So that is an area that is going to grow. And I think a lot more of these types of classes are becoming more institutional. The developers are building through that way we have the likes of universities, medical, etc., something where institutionally it is becoming a more institutional type of asset class. Um, I think as as we've sort of explored the you know the traditional um, sectors, you know, are, are challenging in some instances, and, and even when they're not, there's you know, is there is there an availability of of uh, stock for investors to buy? So it is making people look uh, on a broader spectrum um, and residential is the current sort of uh, growth sector uh, there's a lot of political pressure that's being put on the pension funds to to get involved with the residential market um, which I think you know, maybe a bit cynically has come about because of the shortage of bank financing public sector financing, central government financing, you know, everywhere you look, the traditional um, methods of, of funding the, the residential market are just not there. So it's, it's logical to, to look at the pension funds. Um, so yes, there is an increased uh, interest.